my look at the moment guys. I got home from school like three hours ago and I've just been doing chores and running around the house and yeah, I just really, really apologize for how I look at the moment. So yeah, hey everyone, it's me Saskia. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel and it is Wednesday guys. I don't know what that was, but let's just go with it. So yeah, um, so as you guys know, I have had a lot of, okay, I'm not in the center. This is annoying. As you guys probably have noticed, I have a hook now for my bags and my school uniform. Obviously my school uniform is not there at the moment because that would be an invasion of privacy and um, I can't let that happen. So anyway, so as you guys know, I've had a lot of paranormal experiences in my life and um, I and people have been begging me to do a story time on one of them. And again, I completely 100% believe that ghosts exist. I believe that demons and angels exist, 100%. You guys may not agree with me, but everyone's allowed to have their own opinions. But I believe that they exist because I have seen them face to face. So I'm going to tell you a couple of stories where I have seen them, um, etc. In dreams, not in dreams, etc. So let's get started. So one was... I was laying in my bed one time and I woke up at 3 a.m. And it's not normal for me to wake up in the middle of the night. I'm a very deep sleeper, whether I need the bathroom, whether something wake me up, whether I'm thirsty, whether I'm hungry. I will sleep through it. And it was very strange for me to wake up at 3 and I was looking at, the, at this corner of my room and, um, and there was a black figure standing there like this. Turned it on, it wasn't there anymore, turned it off and it was back again. But it wasn't there, it was in the corner um, up there, like this in the thing. Jumped down, it ran up and it sat on my chest and started choking me. And it went like that for probably about, felt like hours, but it was probably about a solid five minutes. And then I woke up again and it wasn't a dream because I woke up with red marks all around my neck. And um, I found that really scary. Another story is I was walking with my friends in the middle of the night, uh, not the middle of the night, what am I talking about? I was walking with my friends because we were going out to a party and um, it was kind of, it, it, it was kind of like a beach party, it was a bit different because in Australia beaches are very, very popular. It was a beach party and I was walking um, on the side of the beach and there was something on the other side of the road. And I rubbed my eyes, uh, I rubbed my eyes and it was still there. And I just thought it was some weirdo. So I tapped my friend and I said, look over there. And she didn't see anything. And she said, what's there? There's nothing there. But there was something there. It was moving over to me. And then a car went past and it completely different, disappeared. It was weird. Another story is this room right now used to be my sister's room before she moved out. And she always used to have the door open at night, okay? And I always have the door closed. I don't know why when I'm sleeping it just makes me feel more secure and yeah, and it doesn't wake me up when my parents are still up when usually I'm asleep after my parents. So she left the door open and there was a long black figure in the darkness. And I did rub my eyes. I tried to like, I kept blinking to get away from it, but it just kept moving across. Eventually it started peeping in the door and I screamed and my sister woke up and then there was nothing there. And that's just a few basic paranormal stories, but I think one of the most scariest <gasps> one of the most scariest experiences that I have ever experienced is Nan, my dad's parents. My nan's house is haunted and because it's like a hundred years old like the it's I know so my nan and grandpa's house is haunted and I have to stay there um, every so often when I go back to England and I really don't like I do like staying there but there's this one room that's my auntie's room I don't stay in my dad's old room anymore I stay in my aunt in one of my two aunties room um, because one of my other auntie's room is now my grandpa's office. So I stay in the biggest room, which is my auntie's. So I stay in my auntie's old room before she moved out. And um, and that room's so creepy. Like, there's a basin in that room. I'll, when I go to England, I'll most likely be filming some videos while I'm there. Um, but, like, yeah, it's... And you'll get to see the room, but that's all the way in September. 
but it's it's just got a really really creepy vibe to it and I woke up in the middle of the night and I heard and it was coming from the window and I'm like okay it's just the wind next thing you know I started hearing like outside of the door and I thought okay knowing the typical white person um, I even needed the bathroom in the middle of the night so I opened my door and there was nothing there and my my grandparents my nan and grandpa have a long hallway down their house so it's when you look down there you can just see my grandpa's office and could you not I swear I saw something sitting on that chair right it started like swinging on the chair and I went to the bathroom oh, it's just a truck I went to the bathroom and I started like washing my hands and like use the bathroom came out it was in the hallway sitting on this tiny bookcase that they have <laughs> anyway I stood there looking at it for like a solid two seconds till it jumped and it ran at me and I ran into the bedroom slammed the door slammed it and it was like 3 a.m. and I went under my covers and my nan walked in like all tired because she just woke up for the noise and said what was it and obviously I don't want to scare her bless her so I just said oh sorry it was the wind that slammed the door and she said all right and she went back to bed and ever every time I go back to that house I can never get that picture out of my head and I'm really scared to go back there in September like it's a great house during the day but at the night it literally looks like something from the conjuring like but yeah I don't know my one of my best friend in called Holly in England. My best friend Natalie from England hasn't been there yet. But my friend Holly says gives her the creeps as well, uh, which is great. But my nan and grandpa's house has been, I keep yawning. My nan and grandpa's house has been my childhood since I was very, very, very young. And that house contains so many beautiful memories. So of course I would never ever think that it's an awful house. I love that house. It contains so many memories. I've been there since, the day I was born, like I've been there over and over and over again and I love my grandparents with their heart, I just don't like whatever is living in there. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed and I, and let me know if you guys have any paranormal stories because I love reading scary stories, let me know down below. I will see you guys on Sunday with a new video and I hope that you guys had a great time watching this. Stay happy, stay safe and stay quiet and I'll see you in my next video on Sunday. Love you.